Hey, any bash. It's the 9th of April 2021. And I accidentally brought my phone down here with me. So that told me that it was time to touch base with you all. I hope you're all well. I do. I haven't deserted my post or anything like that, man. I just have not been Holy Spirit led to do videos recently. And his peace is still upon me, so, you know, I'm doing his will the best I can. My guess is it's all been said. Everything is out there. The manifestation of this evil in the world is so blatantly obvious and manifest that those who still don't see it are not supposed to. That doesn't mean we don't keep trying to wake them up. But we got to be in Christ, in the Spirit, more than ever. So I wanted to touch base. In fact, I'm going to go inside and uh, share a few articles with you guys and just, you know, chew the fat a little bit. It's been a while. So I'll see you in there. God bless you. Okay, so I came in to share a few articles with you guys. And I was going to talk about all the military movement going on around the world. And I'm talking Russia, Ukraine, China, Taiwan. We're sending warships to all these places. It's not a joke at this point. It's just not. And for me to pull up a random Bible verse like this, whatever message I get through it is what I go with because I trust God and I know he's working in my life. And I hope you do too. Because in this world, without the Holy Spirit of the living God living in you through Jesus Christ, you're going to go crazy. Or you're going to rebel. You're going to go against. You know, the pride of life is a very tough one to break. It really is. We need to constantly humble ourselves. At least I do. But for me to get Psalm 69, that's insane. 9 11, Psalm 23. 10 year anniversary, Obama, 9 11, Psalm 46. Be still and know that I am God. We're coming up on another 10-year anniversary, the 20th. Psalm 69 will definitely come into play. And we saw Beirut, Lebanon, which you got to remember, that ties into so many things. The King of Tyre, the Cedars of Lebanon, Mount Hermon, on and on and on. And they got their port destroyed on the 6901st day from 9-11. And believe you me, it's not done. The only thing holding back what's coming is God's light. And that is through us, the believers, which are the virus. We are what this beast wants to eliminate. We're the ones not going along with the vaccines because it's all lies. But regardless, me seeing this Bible verse, man, it just solidifies it with me. You need Jesus, you need him now, because there's a multitude of things coming, and it can all come at once. And when you're caught in a trap like that, you're going to fall for the deceit, period. Without the counsel of the living God, you will be deceived. So seek Jesus with a humble heart. Invite him into your life, in the sense that you know you need a savior. You understand? I'm just hoping that people get this before it is too late er, put on the brakes hold the presses as i'm getting ready to upload this video i find out that prince philip has passed away just today just moments ago hours ago whatever and there are so many things we could talk about with prince philip but he's gone now at 99 years old which is 9 11s Okay, and Prince Philip is the one, let's remember, that when he died, he wished that he would reincarnate as a deadly virus. Yes, you heard that right, and yes, it's true, and yes, you can find it readily. 
a deadly virus to wipe out mankind. That was his desire upon his death. And it's worthy of noting that he was a lifetime worshipful Grand Master of the York Rite Masons in England. So just think about this stuff, okay? Prince Philip dies today at 9-11s. The 99 sheep are getting ready to go home, people. I love all you guys. God bless each and every one of you. There is no coincidence at all that these Bible verses would come up. Save me, O God, for the waters are come unto my soul. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. I'm coming to deep waters where the floods overflow me. I'm weary of my crying. My throat is dried. My eyes fail while I wait for my God. That's how I feel. And I know a lot of you feel the same way. Stand in Jesus Christ and he will guide your steps. It's, it's really simple. Have faith because faith moves mountains, folks. That's really all I got for you. I just wanted to mainly check in with you guys, but I'm telling you, these things are happening. So seek the Lord while he may be found. And God bless you all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 